what would not come and grow in the past shall now grow in this day. And as you stand in my presence, saith the Lord, I shall give unto thee miracles, wonders, things for you to behold. And you shall know that it is the working of my hand that has made it so. So take this memorial, the cloth that has been worn by the prophet, and know that change has come in your thoughts, your surrounding, your environment. And as you step, step in a new consciousness of thinking. For I bring thee into a new place of not only healing, but of supernatural release. Dry up the tears from your eyes, saith the Lord, and weep no longer. For I bring you into a season of restored joy. And unto you that have given, and given, and given, and given, do not faint. Do not faint. For you shall reap and see your harvest if you faint not, saith the Lord. I not only bring you to a new day of understanding, I bring you to a new vision, saith the Lord. And even as these sacred garments are in your midst, I am in your midst to perform wonders. Now you go forth from this place and begin working the miracles. For don't wait for me to act, for I am already acting and I have already acted. Now you go forth, for the sign is in your hand. Name your harvest. Name your harvest. Name your harvest. And I shall give unto you a day that is clearer than this day. I will give unto you an hour that shall be greater than your past hour. For this son I give unto thee. For even as you watch this videotape over and over, I will cause this consciousness to be imprinted in your mind. As you put the cloth in your billfold, talk, tuck it in your purse, in your wallet, watch what I begin to do. You will look at this three years down the line and you'll remember the sign. For the Lord says, I now multiply you. I give you the power of command. I give you the power of demand. I give you the power to get wealth for the purpose of establishing my covenant in the earth. Now go forth in my name and get it without excuse. Go forth in my name and take it without even thinking about it. Go forth in my name. Not only claim it, take it. For I anoint your eyes for the harvest. I anoint your eyes for the harvest. Open the door, sit in the office of the banker. I anoint your eyes. 
Go where money is. Open the door and sit there. Name your harvest. For your seed has already come up as a memorial. And the Lord says, I am here to visit your seed. Your seed has beckoned me from afar and brought me near. Now behold your God. And the doors have been opened unto you. You shall leave off of these grounds knowing that I have worked a work. There shall not even be words to describe what is happening in you. Some of you will not even be able to go to sleep tonight. Others of you will go into a deep sleep tonight. Some of you will wake up and not even know what state you're in, but you'll know that the change has already taken place. And I shall even appear in some of your dreams and some of your visions, and you'll know that a change has taken place. For I bring unto you not only a new impartation, but I bring new elevation. Now, I have shared my life with you. Become that which has been shared. Lack has now taken wings and has flown away. Now the Lord says, I change your posture. Hold your head up. Put your shoulders back. Let your back be straight. For this work has already begun in your inside. Walk as my people. For this night, I have given back to you what has been robbed from you. I give you back your dignity. I give you back your respect. I give you back your honor. I give you back your name. I am that I am. I give it back, saith God. Your children 
that have walked away from me shall come unto me. Your children that have run away from